Brawlheart coming later might be a good thing. Hear me out, hear me out. Let's just focus on the positive side because it takes too much energy to be negative about something that won't change. For example, Rock stated that they have no plans to expedite the artist's release. If the initial feedback wasn't enough to change their mind, it's a little too late to try to push any influence in that direction. Let's go over four things. One, we have more time to home. Get your mains ready, you know. A lot more bound resource generation time results in a cheaper progression for your main character. Materials such as leapstones from Chaos Dungeons, Una Dailies, Shards. Uh, these things will come with time and it'll be a lot cheaper to build these up over time than to try to buy them off the market. Same thing with resources like silver. We have a lot more time to accumulate too. We get some time to push new alts, you know, try out all these other classes. Um, once your main is situated in a, in a really good place, you can pick up another class, try it out. Maybe, maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll main swap, you know. And once you enjoy that class, maybe you can retire another class that you don't like. For example, a lot of people picked up Glavier on her release, and they probably don't enjoy her that much right now. Um, one of the more popular low paying demotions I've seen. Personally, myself, I still enjoy my Glavier for the time being. If I find Aeromancer or another class that comes out later to be more popular, then yeah, maybe I'll, I'll main swap as well. Right now, I'm really enjoying Arcana, uh, pushing that class up. Right after pushing my Destroyer, my Bonky Boy, all the way up. Just be careful about doing that too many times because it costs a lot of shards to push a new alt in a short amount of time. Um, something in the game called Natural Rate of Progression, and if you want to push faster than that, you're going to have to pay. I'm not talking about with real money, but in terms of resources. Number three, just finding a group, you know. Uh, a lot of people, uh, I think a bad term might be like pug heroes. <laughs> I think that describes that, that group a lot. It's, it's not a bad thing, it's not a bad thing. Some people just want to pug all their content. They don't want to play with a set group. But trust me when I say Lost Ark at its core is an MMORPG. The M, one of the M's, you know stands for multiplayer, which means there are other people that are playing. These aren't these aren't NPCs you're queuing into. Take the time, like when you're doing a raid, make some jokes, crack some jokes, um, talk to some of these people that you're raiding with, simple comments, you know. You don't want to be like a silent Sam just doing things super mundane, um, treating this as it's a job. I gotta grind this raid and I'm on to the next raid, you know. Take, take a time, you know, get to know your peers. If you find a really nice group, you can set statics to run your alts with. Trust me when I say it'll be a richer experience at the end of the day, playing with other people. I, I can't imagine what Lost Ark would be if I didn't have a good group to play with. Some of these are friends I've came into Lost Ark with, others are friends I made after I started playing Lost Ark. Whether it's in Lost Ark, outside Lost Ark, that eventually connected in Lost Ark, you know, it's, it's, it's been great. Four, you get a chance to take a break, you get a chance to hop off, play some other games, miss some raids here and there, it'll be it'll be fine. This this long break, this long drought, it, it's good. It's good for the game. Because once we catch up, the breaks are gonna be even longer. Like how how often does Korea get content? You know, like once we catch up, we're gonna be at the same rate that they get content. So those are the four main points, but you know, other games you you rate log, like wow in Final Fantasy XIV. When a new expansion hits, people come back. So a lot of people quit for the entire expansion. Or games with seasons, like TFT, Valor, Path of Exile, they're, they're doing perfectly okay. Those those aren't dead games by any means. People quit for a variety of reasons, and people come back too. Even in Lost Ark, I heard some people quit during Argos or during Vicus release, and now, now they're back for bro. And it, this might be a model that current games are trending towards, is the seasonal structure. And aesthetically, Brel's gonna be the same. It's hard Brel is gonna look at pretty much like normal Brel, right? There's gonna be some new mechanics here and there, but visually it's gonna be very similar. It's the same raid pizza with added toppings. Sure, artist coming is a bit smudge, but we've seen this coming. When they release a new class on top of a new raid, and people have to hone higher eye level for that class. But now we really have some time to actually enjoy the game to have fun. Let's overcome the MMO FOMO cycle together. If you enjoy my long-winded speech, let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think, and sub to see more videos like this. <sighs>